بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم عما يتساءلون عن النبا العظيم الذي هم فيه مختلفون كلا سيعلمون ثم كلا سيعلمون عما يتساءلون عن النبا العظيم الذي هم فيه مختلفون كلا سيعلمون ثم كلا سيعلمون or Allah commenting on a discussion taking place between disbelievers there are three opinions about the word uh, the tafsir of the word yatasa'alun yatasa'alun means they're asking one another some of them are asking others one opinion is this is a depiction of believers being asked by disbelievers. That's one opinion. Another opinion is this is a discourse that is taking place between the disbelievers. They're, dis they're asking among each other. And a third position is that both the believers and the disbelievers are asking the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Rajih position, the closest to true position and the, the one that's supported in the text and also with other evidences is the one that this is a discussion taking place of the kuffar among themselves. But the thing is we have to uh, understand in language when you mutually ask a question to one another when you're discussing something with one another it can be done for one of two reasons. It can be done because you're curious. You don't know and you're asking somebody and they're asking somebody else and this is what's happening, right? So it's sort of an inquisitive intent. Another intent for asking one another is actually to undermine or to, to wage sarcasm at someone else. For example, if just picture this scenario, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam presents these, you know, these phenomenal truths about the afterlife. Right, these huge things are going to happen. The oceans are going to boil over, over. The dead are going to come back to life. These huge things he's talking about. And as a means of undermining or making him look like he's insane, they say, you know, do you know what he's talking about? No, do you know what he's talking about? And they're kind of talking to each other. And this, this is a means of insulting him. Right? This tone of undermining that we even know in language today, this is the tone that they were using. Now understand and appreciate this. The one responding to this, in Surah Naba is Allah. Allah is basically listening to their conversation. So there's a third party here. The, the messenger is obviously a listener, a party to this conversation. The believers who are making da'wah are hearing this sarcastic conversation. But from the very beginning we learn there's a third party that is also listening to this discourse. It is Allah Azza wa And now Allah is re depicting His reaction to their conversation. So what we learn in the beginning of the surah is Allah has taken offense to their, their sarcasm. Allah has taken offense to the way they speak about the Akhirah. So Allah says, عَمَّ يَتَسَاءَلُونَ